By the help of the Holy Spirit, I'll share with us a word. You may be seated. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. By the help of the Holy Spirit, I have titled it, The Intent of Our Heart. You may also say the intention of our heart. Open with me, please, to Genesis 6. I'll read from verse 1 to 8. It's a long read. But please, if you go home, read 8, read 6, read 7, and the Lord will reveal himself new to you. Genesis 6. Now it came to pass that when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were beautiful and they took wives for themselves of all whom they choose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. There were giants on earth in those days and also afterward. When the sons of God came into the daughters of men and they bore children to them, those were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was very sorry that he had made man on the earth. And he grieved his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Both man and beast, creeping things and birds of the air. For I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace. Somebody say grace. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. If you go through scripture, the only thing that made God destroy the earth was wicked intentions. Yes, we have all the sins. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not. But at no time did we see God angry and destroyed what he loved and what he created. The Bible says he looked down and he saw that the intention of man's heart was that of wickedness. The only time God regretted creating us was because of intention. And because of that, God got angry and destroyed the earth. But there was one man who was different. There was one man whom because of him, God saved his family. There was one man whom because of him, we have the world that we know today. His name was Noah. The Bible said he found favor and grace before God. And God said, this one, I will single him out for excellence. I will single him out for long life. Beloved, no matter what people do to make you wicked, do not become wicked. No matter what people do to destroy you, to bring you down, no matter the lies, no matter the schemes of the enemy, the only thing that can bring the fastest destruction to a man is wickedness. It is wickedness that will make people kill. It is wickedness that will make people steal. It is wickedness that will make people tell lies. It is wickedness that will make people blaspheme. It is wickedness to see a young man, a young woman that is doing good. And all you want to think in your heart is how to bring them down. There's something Papa says all the time. He says, let your hand be like this. A great example that is not far from us is just what has happened. Because what men expected of him, they did not see. He did not allow the wickedness of schemes of the enemy derail him. Imagine a man or a woman who is seated here and because of wickedness, you have lost your identity. You have lost your calling. You have lost your business. You have lost your marriage. But in all of this, the fastest way to destroy yourself is to have wicked intention. May our hearts always be pure. 
may what you portray on the outside, let, let be, as you are smiling and hugging somebody, let what is happening in your heart also be smiles and hug. If not, you will destroy yourself. And the one whom you are planning against, whom you are having wicked intentions in your mind for, Noah, the Bible, the Bible says God looked down. He looked at Noah and he said, this one has found grace and favor, which means Noah's heart was open. That was why he was selected. It means Noah's heart was clean. It means Noah's had no wickedness in him. You might do all the prayer and fasting. I've said it to us. You might, you might tie your hair from now till tomorrow. You might dress a certain way. But what is your heart saying? And Jesus was not far from the truth when he said, Men will look at the outward appearance. But I search where? Where did he say he will search? Where, can we say louder, divine hand of God? He said he will search what? Your heart. Guide your heart for out of it. I'm happy we're Bible believers here. So you see, never repay evil with evil. Let your heart be clean. Let it be open. No matter what they do. Because that is where your growth will come. Because of you, your family will be blessed. The Bible says Noah was righteous. Nowhere did he say Noah's wife, his children, his brothers were righteous. But because of Noah, God saved a whole generation. He saved his wife. He saved his family. He saved animals. Let your family see change and increase because of you. Even if everybody is wicked in your family, decide to be different. Let everybody be a thief. You decide to be different. Let everybody be stingy. You decide. We have so bastardized giving that every time there's this notion that when you give to church, you are giving to the pastor. You are giving to the, the pastors or the general overseer. Beloved, it's not like that everywhere. And it's not like that in your church, divine hand of God. If you read verse 8, the whole of that chapter, you see Noah raising an altar before God. So thank him. The Bible said he killed beasts. He bought them and he went up to heaven as a sweet smelling aroma. Have respect for the things of God. Papa said it here. You stand. You make jest of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You sit with your friends. They, they, they do jokes with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once the news is out about a man of God, we are quick. If you go through the comment section, you will see believers are the first. I'm not saying all of them are right. Get my point. I am saying, the Bible says, judge not that you may not be judged. For the measure with which you judge, it will be appointed to you. So if somebody comes and is lying in the name of God, he's collecting your money in the name of God, it's between them and God. It is not in your place. You fulfill your purpose and assignment. The intent of your heart, let it be beautiful. Because if somebody comes with an envelope and they pray, Father, 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 Every disease in my family, Father, every sickness, Father, all the leprosy, all the generational causes, they put it on the head, they put it on the altar. Then you, you now come and carry the money. Why are you worried for that pastor? Leave that pastor. <laughs> Am I talking to us? Leave that worker. Leave that man, leave that woman of God. It is not in our place to judge. And that's why I don't know any church that Muslims can comfortably enter and sit down, if not our church. Can we celebrate God? I'm rounding up. I don't know where. It is because of love. We don't judge in divine hand of God. We don't judge. We don't criticize. Whether you are Muslim, you are anything you are. Eh? Plus the one we know get name. 
We will give you seats. In fact, I expect old members, when you see first timers, get up and give them your seats. Let them sit down. Nobody will tell you when you see the goodness, the blessings of God, the hearts that the ministers and the members of this church carry. Nobody will tell you before you start chasing Jesus. Nobody will tell you. Jesus sat with all kinds of people. Even his own people will say, ah, he sits with sinners and scorners. He eats with them. He does this with them. That's Jesus. If you talk about Jesus, who I be? Talk and talk and talk for your pockets. Hallelujah. The most righteous, the most holy, the most awesome, the one who gave, he, he gave and gave and gave his life. They spoke negatively about him. It doesn't matter. Never become wicked because of what people will do to you. Expect wickedness. A lot of us want to become celebrities. We want to become wealthy. And you think, every people, some people will fold their hands and be looking at you. They will not talk about you. They will not tell lies about you. They will not gossip about you. Everybody will love you. If you want everybody to love you, be selling ice cream. The intent of the heart. The only thing that made God destroy the earth was wickedness. Wickedness. Evil intention. You want to find favor. You want to find grace. Forget people and focus on God and yourself. And leave the rest to him. And he that makes everything beautiful in his own time will make your case beautiful. And you know how God does it. He will do it in the very presence. Oh, God. Somebody said it. Hadia, it's like you're in my head. When he wants to now bless you, he will do it in the very presence of the same people that said this one can never have children. This one can never have a job. This one can never become a millionaire. In their very presence, God will bless you with children. In their very present, promotion, promotion, promotion. Your account will become, you know, an overflowing, overflowing entity of money in all currencies. But I tell you, beloved, your heart, the Bible says, guard it. There's a reason why God says to guard it. Because if you allow the world to change you, you fall. God wants us to rise and grow. Be the one that because of you, God will open up the floodgates of heaven. You and your children and your family will go inside. Your wife will go inside. Your brothers, your sisters will go inside. Be the difference. Be the difference. Let's rise to our feet. Be the difference. Be the difference. Divine hand of God, are we not the difference now? Are we not the light now? Are we not shining now? Are we not celebrating now? Are we not jubilating? Were there not people who were laughing then? Were there not people who were mocking then? But we never allowed our heart to what? Papa never allowed his heart to... No distraction. The power of focus. Go and read that book. See my inspiration there. I've never seen a more focused young man. Focus! Focus! On God, on your calling, on your business, on your family, on your marriage, on your assignment. No distraction. Even the speaker, the answer. Am I talking? You are talking. There were friends that stayed closer than a brother. The ones who go now. They'll be doing like this now. Papa, daddy, we heard, oh, we heard. His name is cleared. The most important testimony for me. Name that he walked from when he was eight. The enemy thought they could come in like a flood. But the Spirit of God stood and said, no! Forgive me, my, in fact, see a big party. If I hand, let's get ready.
Do you know what can give you this kind of joy that we are all experiencing? If you give Jesus the right to fight for you. Who can battle with the Lord? Divine hand. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I said no. David, a very strong man, when he saw Goliath, he took the battle from the earthly realm to the spiritual realm. Do you know how he did that? He said, I come to you in the name of the God of Israel. He already, that means he took it from earth. What am I trying to say? If you haven't made Jesus the Lord over your life, how can he fight for you? He said, my sheep, when I speak, my sheep, they hear my voice and they, and they recognize it. It is sweet to follow Jesus. I have decided to, to follow, follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. When I'm worshiping, people don't understand no that you are the man. No man. So if you are here, you haven't made him Lord over your life. I just want you to place your hand on your heart. Let me pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I know that you died for me. Resurrected on the third day. Seated at the right hand of the Father. Interceding on my behalf. Wash me clean of all unrighteousness. And make me whole. From today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Let's celebrate Jesus in this place.